It is a blessing to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Amen. Uh, let us take our seats so we can begin our morning worship. Our scripture this morning actually become from our uh, responsive reading. And as we, you know, continue our season of Thanksgiving, our season of Christmas, uh, it reminds us that in verse 6, it says, For to unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, that the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. Amen. That's why we celebrate this season, because uh, Emmanuel is with us. Amen. Amen. Let us now bow in a word of prayer. Father, we give you thanks now for this day and many blessings. Father, for waking us up one more time. For a heart to serve you, Father God, and a mindset to do your will. So we just thank you and we just ask right now, Father God, you receive all our prayers, all our worship, Father God, and, and most of all, Father God, we just give our love to you. Let us, Father God, be about your business this day. Let us share, let us care, Father God, and, and let us, Father God, be mindful of others. We thank you and we just ask this prayer now in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May we all stand for our responsive reading this morning. It will be coming from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 1 and 7. I will read the lighter, you will read the dark, and we will end together. Amen. Nevertheless, there will be no more gloom for those who were in distress. In the past, he humbled the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, but in the future he will honor Galilee, and of the nations by the way of the sea, beyond the joy. Oh, 